Hey guys, it's me, Ty Tier Aper Movie Reviews, and today we're going to review the movie The Shape of Water. This was a big disappointment to me. I thought it was really, I thought, I didn't like it. Here's are the things I liked. I liked the, the custodian lady, S Sally Hawkins, and I liked Doug Jones. I thought Doug Jones made a stellar, stellar and relatable performance as Fish Guy. Amphibian Man. I also thought that I didn't like uh, Zod. I thought Zod was bad. I didn't like Zod. Zod was bad. I don't really like him. I thought he was bad. But I thought some of the acting was pretty solid. Oh, in case you don't know, The Shape of Water is about um, custodian girl falls in love with sea creature man. I don't think the cinematography was as good as the cinematography in Pan's Labyrinth, which was made by the same guy. I thought that, I thought, I didn't think it was very relatable, you know? I like really relatable films, such as Her. Her is a great film, and it deserves to be, because it's relatable. You know, I can relate to Her. Very plausible scenario that's going on. I didn't quite relate to Twin Peaks, but Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me is an excellent film that I think everyone should watch. The only problem with Twin Peaks Fire Walk With Me is that it doesn't have Laura Dern. You know, if it had Laura Dern, its movie points would go up by a, billion, by a jillion percent. But it doesn't, so it falls flat on its face. I think Doug Jones gets a buy because he's already played a fish person in the past, you know, with movies like Hellboy, which is made by the same guy who made this film. Here are the things I did I didn't like. I didn't like how uh I I, I, I wish all they did was hug and kiss, because you know, if I saw a fish person that I fell in love with, you know, all I would do is hug and kiss it, you know. That's all I would do. It's it's just relatable. You know, I wish this was more relatable, as I've already said. Because it's not relatable. I only like films that I can relate to. I thought that, uh, f uh, the, the Zod, as I said, wasn't, isn't good. I thought he was a real tool, you know? <laughs> real tool person. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, if he wasn't a tool, and he was more like how a real person who was trying to look for a fish, fish person... He could be relatable, and you know, that can make its relatability points go from, like, right here to about right here, you know? It's gotta be relatable, because, you know, if it's not, if it's not relatable, that means it's not good. Uh, you know, like, there are other films that were better than this film that came out this year. It's uh, other indie films that have come out this year that everyone loves, like, Three Billboards Outside Ebon, Missouri, Lady Bird. Um, that film. I thought that Pan's Labyrinth was really good and that Doug Jones was way better in Pan's Labyrinth than he was in this film. But, you know, I still I still, saw, I, I still liked it a lot. I would give I would give uh, this film a 5 out of 10. It was really disappointing, you know. I wish all they did was hug and kiss and that Zod wasn't in the movie, you know, or he could have done a better job. You can check out my, uh, you can check out my blog in the video description or end card if you want to. I don't care. Uh, and remember, kids, life is inception.